There are few people out in the paranormal community who produce such dichotomous feelings depending on the individual you're talking to. His work as a paranormal investigator has been both praised and vilified, yet he continues to find his way into thousands of viewers' television sets every week. Who are we talking about? You know who we're talking about. This guy. Zachary Alexander Bagans was born on April 5th, 1977, and was not always the ghost enthusiast we have all come to know and love. Although his infatuation for ghosts would come at a later date, Zach always did have a passion for film, attending the Motion Picture Institute in Michigan, aspiring to become a film documentarian. Having a similar origin story to most people who are interested in the paranormal, Zack's passion began with an unexpected encounter from the other side. According to his story, Zack had a face-to-face -face encounter with the spirit of a suicidal woman in his former apartment building in Trenton, Michigan. Little did he know, but this already profound experience would open the doors to an entirely new way of life. In 2004, Zach, along with Nick Groff and Aaron Goodwin, went out to produce their very first paranormal documentary, Ghost Adventures. In this full-length documentary movie, the crew visit a few well-known alleged haunted locations, including the Old Washoe Club and the Goldfield Hotel. Along with many strange occurrences captured in the filming of the documentary, it was the video evidence of a potential full-body apparition which left a profound impact on myself personally. Creating a broad interest from the media, it was the attention from the Travel Channel that would change Zack and the crew's lives forever. In 2008, the television show Ghost Adventures was launched, gaining explosive views from both paranormal enthusiasts and skeptics alike. The show has reached past 180 episodes at this point and continues to search for the unknown and still headlines the man who started it from his first terrifying experience Zack. Going on to do many other paranormal-related endeavors, such as multiple spin-off paranormal shows and written books, let's focus on his most recent project, the Zack Bagans Haunted Museum. Zack has of recent purchased the Wengert House, which was built in 1938 by Cyril Wengert. The house stayed in the family up until the 1970s, when it was transformed into an office building. Bagans had been searching for a potentially haunted location to start his museum, and after some time he was able to pick up this historical gem. Bagans has transformed the home to include a multitude of exhibits, each designed to make the patron feel the energy emitted from the potential haunted decor. Bagans is quoted as saying, In every room I want you to experience different energy, different emotions. Between the sounds, the energy from the objects, and the way things look, the moods will change. He continues by explaining, I'm sensitive. I can feel stuff from the object. I want people to kind of feel what I feel. It's kind of like an object and its energy in its natural habitat. I want them to feel a whole experience. The exhibits include items relating to many infamous stories, including to the minibus of Dr. Kevorkian, a bullet hole Nazi helmet, Charles Manson memorabilia, and Bella Lugosi's cursed mirror. The museum, although not open yet, will soon be allowing a large number of patrons to explore their interest in the paranormal world. Love him or hate him, Zach Bagans has undeniably made a huge impact on the paranormal research community. If you're traveling through Vegas, maybe you should take an hour and visit this chilling museum. You like this kind of stuff? Well, you should head over to iHorror.com to look up articles about all things horror. As always, thank you guys for listening, and until next time.